Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Carly Nari and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection. It has been an ongoing request to talk about what do I have on this shelf. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what it is. What do I have? I break them down according to notes or sections. So there's amber, there's nutty fragrances, coconut fragrances, chocolate, Middle Eastern, so forth, so on. So we're going to slowly go through them, or should I say video to video, I'm going to break them down to the ones that I have in each section. So for everyone who has asked, what do you have in your collection, Claudia? These videos are for you. Okay, let's talk about blueberries. Blueberries. This is going to be my fruity collection. Uh, I broke them down. I have them broken down into three categories. So let's talk about blueberry. My very first one I want to tell y'all about is Fenty. Some people don't like this one. I, I was quite surprised. Uh, got it for an affordable price because someone bought it at full price and didn't enjoy it. But I actually really like it. Fenty is, um, it is a blueberry base scent. Uh, mostly for me, I get the blueberry and tangerine opening. But the best part of Fenty is the dry down. It's the magnolia, the must, the patchouli, and then that Bulgarian rose. I get a lot of compliments. When I wear this one here, uh, I, I enjoy it. I know that there are some people who do not like Fenty by Rihanna, but I do. I absolutely love it. The next one that I have that's a blueberry is called Tart Ox. Uh, I want to say Martellus. This one here was another one of those finds at a TJ Maxx. Uh, please don't sleep on TJ Maxx. They have a lot of TJ Maxx, your Marshalls. They have a lot of fragrances there that, that are just not um, hyped at this moment. And then they have them there for an affordable price. This one here is blueberry, lemon, caramel, violets, and vanilla. It is a very nice, soft, blueberry-based fragrance with uh, the kind of like a citrus lemon note to it. Uh, not that pledged lemon, but like a nice, fresh citrus note right uh it doesn't last very long i'm not even going to tell you that it does it doesn't last very long uh i think i might get four hours out of it but then sometimes you don't really need a fragrance to last eight nine hours right four hours is nice you know a nice little cute sundress going out fragrance the newest one to my collection is this one here and it is called blue bijou this is absolutely amazing i started off with this particular fragrance by dua dua has it uh as blueberry dream the notes in it is blueberry cognac dark chocolate black violet a, a cacao pod cashmere wood there's a tobacco note in the background and argyle wood this it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I got it from Lucky Sense and it was it was affordable for me. Uh, nice, beautiful blueberry fragrance. This is the only three blueberries that I have in my collection, but I can tell you right now, I am going, I am going to get me some more blueberries. <laughs> I promise you, I'm going to get some more blueberries. All right, so let's talk about the cherry fragrances. I know that cherry is hyped up right now, uh, and it, it had a season where everybody was wearing cherry, 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 cherry. Uh, so I won't even tell you that I didn't get caught up in that trend, uh, but I do, I like cherry. Uh, so my first one is going to be wet cherry liqueur. Wet cherry liqueur, uh, it's like cherry liquor mixed together. 
uh, reminds me of this candy. Like it had a chocolate outing uh, outside of it. Then it was a cherry in the middle that was kind of like a gooey cherry. That's what that reminds me of. Um, it does have other notes like uh, strawberry, caramel, Turkish rose, tonka bean, and vanilla in it. But for me, it is a step up from Lost Cherry. So I, I get why they came out with this one. I know you've been waiting on it. When are you going to talk about those shoes, Claudia? I know you're going to talk about those shoes at some point. Yes, this is your first one. Uh, more are coming. This one here is called Very Good Girl. Outside the fact that the package, the packaging on this is absolutely, to, I mean, it is amazing. I mean, let's just really take a moment of silence for the packaging. I don't think anyone has topped it since uh, Carolina Herrera came out with this. Very Good Girl Glam is sour cherry, bitter almond, rose, uh, bourbon, vanilla, and vetiver. I won't even tell you that I did not buy this for the package. I bought it absolutely for the package. And surprisingly and thankfully, I actually liked the fragrance. It's a nice cherry scent um would i say that you need to get all of the good girls no but if you find a couple of good girls that you enjoy then i think you should add it to your collection and if you're into like a sour cherry note this is the one to go get i have another fort manly in my collection this is called lost or last, no, late harvest. I always mess up that name. I want to call it lost harvest, but it's actually last harvest. Amazing, 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 amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's cherry, like a cherry pipe tobacco. It's like a cherry tobacco note that you would find in a cigar, right? Not too smoky, so uh, don't be nervous about that. It's not too smoky, but it's a nice, cherry tobacco note then they added in vanilla and surprisingly there is leather and rose in this fragrance but that that smoky cherry is absolutely gorgeous gorgeous in this fragrance i had it um in fedex i had i had ordered it when uh i want to say fragrancebuy.com dot ca or something like that had it and they had it for like a ridiculously low price so i ordered it in fedex the driver kicked my box so i absolutely died like i don't know why he kicked the box i don't know if he was having a bad day or what happened but initially when i first got this fragrance it arrived on my door like beat up and i heard it when it hit the door right but i was at work and i didn't get up to go get it and then when I got it, the box, like I said, the box was beat up. So, I, you know, I called, I reported it or whatever. I called uh, Fragrance Buy and, uh, you know, they were able to refund my money, but they didn't have any more in stock. So, you know, I was furious. And I said, well, I'm just keeping one that I have. And I put it on my shelf and it started to kind of like drip. Like my room, my whole area smelled like this fragrance. As much as I love this fragrance, it is overbearing to be like a drip pile. <laughs> All that to say, I saw it again on fragrancenet.com. And again, they were doing this wonderful sale. So you know I bought it. Hence how I got it in my collection. And I know you didn't ask for that story, but I thought I'll let you know. In case you too have a FedEx driver who just having a bad day and they destroy your boxes. My next one is Tonka Cola. Oh, Tonka Cola. Tonka Cola, Tonka Cola. It is like a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> that is what this smells like to me. A Dr. Pepper. There's a cinnamon cherry opening with a bit of lemon in it. Uh, is a strong Coca-Cola note in it. Uh, the Tonka bean, vanilla, and I want to say that latamin, that creamy latamin that's on the back of it. So if you ever smelt a Dr. Pepper soda pop or whatever you call it in your in, in your area, that is what Tonka Cola smells like to me. 
And, uh, you know, that was by Mancera. My next one by Mancera is one I had to have. And if you're watching some of my videos, and I'll make sure I link the video that talks about Mancera because I actually go over Mancera a little more thoroughly. Uh, so I'll make sure that I put that in the cards. But I was telling everyone how I wanted to get Wild Cherry. And I would tell everybody I wanted Wild Cherry. And in return, I ended up getting Wild Candy. I got Wild Fruit. But it took me forever to get Wild Cherry. So I eventually did get Wild Cherry in my collection. And uh, that one is Cherry Bergamot Lemon. A powdery um, Oris note and Heliotrope note. Uh, it has a slight jasmine in it and white musk. I really do enjoy white musk. Okay, the next one I have is Cherry Musk. Cherry Musk to me is just that. It's a, it's a, a musk note fragrance. Uh, very warm, like a white musk type fragrance. The opening starts off with strawberry and like a cherry note. So you would think, oh, this is going to be fruity. But then after a while, that uh, subsides and all you get is the oak moss, the musk, and the rose. It's, a, it's like a stick to your skin type musk. Nice. So if you're into a musk note, then cherry musk. Hold on. Ooh, almost dropped it. Lord. Cherry Musk is one that I would tell you to go get. All right. I want to jump into my berry scents. I won't even hold you long. I'm going to go straight into it. I want to thank uh, Amanda Marie on here for Birth of Venus. This was a this was a great buy. Birth of Venus is bergamot, peach, grapefruit, orange blossom. Uh, it's an iris violet kind of powdery note to it with raspberry and a touch of chocolate. When I say Birth of Venus is a gorgeous scent. When it first starts off, it is very fruity, berry heavy, right? Then it settles down to this gorgeous like sexy skin scent my husband loves this one that's all i can tell you if you have opportunity to even smell birth of venus go get it go smell it my next one that's going to be in the berry section is going to be high high tie by atar and this one is raspberry, berry fruits, pineapple, and a whipped cream honey note with plum, black cherry, black currant, I'm sorry, and a ice cream vanilla note. <laughs> this is like edible. It is so good. It's, it's like a gorgeous, edible, delicious scent. Uh, I... I really enjoy this one. I find myself constantly going back to wear this one every time I go to my section for, for like fruity scents. I cannot wait to the summer for me to take this one out. Now my next one after that is another one from City Rhythms. This one is called Nashville. It's one of his more recent ones that just came out. Nashville has this Irish liqueur orange zest opening. Then it goes into this cream, a uh, creamy ca cacao note. Then it's like a nutmeg and red berries and mocha all mixed on here. I have not been to Nashville, but it just so much reminds me of a like a drink, like an Irish. Uh, and I can't even think of what they call it. Um, Irish. I know it's an Irish liqueur drink. And I can't think of it. I'm not really a drinker. So I think I might have had it once or twice. But it reminds me so much of that because the drink is kind of like a hot cocoa with some liquor in it. And that is what this smells like to me. Like a hot cocoa with a, a whipped cream topping with nutmeg on it. And it's spiked. Like it has, uh, you know, they might have put the zest of an orange on it and it has liquor in it. Like you're drinking it, you think, oh, there's nothing going on with this one and then it catch up with you. <laughs> that is what this fragrance reminds me of. 
my next one is going to be gentle for uh for liberty. this one here uh it really can go in many categories i have it under berry fragrances because honestly when i first got it i i loved it uh i i absolutely loved it uh wore it all the time or i know like I, I didn't wear it at all but i really did and i just thought like i i i spray it but not as often right i think because of my collection i find myself uh this is a going to brunch type fragrance um i don't dislike it so i, I would never take it out of my collection i'm going to use it up but it, it it's not it's not one I reach for as often as I used to. Like I used to reach for this one a lot, um, but I, I really don't. And I don't dislike it, so I don't want it to come off like I dislike it. It does have a juniper berry note, a vanilla amber uh, fragrance into it, but it's just like a really classic, pretty fragrance. And I think I'm in the era or trend right now where I want my fragrance to talk and speak for me. And I just feel like that one, that one is real quiet. My next one, I know, here it, here's another Mancera. <laughs> My next one is Juicy Flower. Uh, when I got Juicy Flower, I just fell in love with it. It has a red fruit opening with some pear and some citrus notes to it. There's a pink pepper note that kind of gives it a tad bit of spiciness, like pink pepper and rose, uh, but not a lot of spice. It, then it kind of travels back to like peach and sandalwood uh more raspberry uh or it has raspberry in it in vanilla so this is just like a really fruity i wouldn't say a fruity flower um i get why they called it flowers because it does have jasmine in it but to me it's just a very nice fruity fragrance very pretty very pretty fragrance and i'm finally talking about a perfume de molly uh, we're going to talk more about, I have a couple of more perfume damales, uh, but this is just my very first one we're going to discuss. And this is Oriana. And Oriana is one that many people say that is very similar to a lot of fragrances. I can see that, uh, but I got Oriana first. Um, so I see how it could be similar to Love, Don't Be Shy, but I, I, I think it does have its own similarities. Uh, but yet differences to it. Uh, if you haven't heard about Oriana, it's mandarin orange, grapefruit, orange blossom, raspberry, black currant, a whipped cream, marshmallow note. Uh, so yeah, yeah, and even the notes kind of sound familiar to um, Love Don't Be Shy. But I, I like Oriana, so uh, would, would always stay in my collection, uh, I guess until I use it up or till I move on to something else. But I really do like Oriana. My next one is new to my collection. I just got this one, uh, I want to say last year, sometime when I went to Glamcation. Uh, it's Summer, Summer, Summer by uh, Pink Mahogany. If you haven't heard of Pink Mahogany, please look into it. Uh, she does amazing, amazing fragrances. Uh, black woman owned, like, amazing fragrances. Summer, Summer, Summer is just that. It just is it's going to fit for the summer. It is sun-kissed skin to me, uh, car uh, caramelized banana, blackberry. It has wine in it. Uh, there's like this Italian, peach Italian lemonade note in it. Uh, the hibiscus kind of gives it a very nice tropical vibe along with that coconut milk. But summer, summer, summer is really good. Summer, summer, summer time. Uh, just remember that name, Summer, Summer, Summertime by Pink Mahogany. Uh, I think she even does 10 mil um, of it. Try it out. Um, I think you would not be disappointed. And my last one to round off my berry collection is Deviant. This was a recommendation from N uh, Nika uh, on Instagram. Uh, she's on YouTube too. Uh, Nika has great taste. But... <laughs> This one here was on one of the videos I was doing, one of my lives. She talked about this fragrance. She was on there with me, and I ordered it while we were on the live. And it has grapes, raspberry, ylang ylang, pink grapefruit. It has caramel, black currant. There is a Denmark rose in it. 
uh it's a lot of notes it's even like a lipstick note to it uh from like powderiness and i was kind of scared when i saw lipstick but honestly it's not it's not like that lipstick uh iris note there is some powder tones to it but not a lot not a lot the the opening the caramel the leather the the oud and tobacco in it takes that powdery note and, and it makes it dissipate it is a beautiful scent beautiful beautiful scent all right i hope you have enjoyed it so far we only went over uh probably just one category in this video i make sure that i list right here what it is that we were talking about if you know of more fragrances that i probably need to add to my collection or you have some fragrances that fit into this category that i haven't talked about yet put it in the comments and let everybody else know what is in your collection again this is a video to let everyone know i'm doing several videos to what is behind me that has been the burning question what is behind you claudia so we're going to talk about it stay tuned because I'm going to continue going with these type of videos. See you in the next video.